RPG a day 2023. This is day 11. Um, I'm now over a third of the way through the month. So, um, prompt for today is the weirdest game you've played. And I can't think of particularly weird systems that I've played, at least not that I can remember. Uh, I can't really remember settings that were odd. I mean, other than I played a bit of Toon back in the day, and that was very, very weird. So I was trying to work out what to go for, and I kind of figured what I'd go for is just an unusual um, setup for a given session. And I'm, I mentioned this the other day. So uh, back when I was first um, getting into Ubiquity, uh, got into it through um, Hollow Earth Expedition, which is a, a fantastic game. And as I said the other day, there were a, um, I used to run a small role-playing game club. There were two or three tables on any given night. And on this night, I ended up with I think there were 11 of us i might be wrong but i think there were 11 of us so that was a that was a that was a big session and what i'd got planned was a scenario called the river of death um which is now incredibly difficult to find luckily i've got a pdf uh, secreted away somewhere because um I, a whole stack of hollow earth stuff um, disappeared which is a real shame some really good stuff there so um yeah, so River of Death. Um, so the characters started out, we'll change the background. The characters started out in an airship, as many good Hollow Earth Expedition games have done. Uh, and in this case, they were uh, they were attacked by pterodactyls that, that swooped in and took chunks out of the out of the zeppelin so everybody was uh was, was trying to shoot them down uh one of the characters decided to lower himself on a rope as the uh, as, as the zeppelin was passing over a clearing uh and and jump down and try and take pot shots from there so he ended up up in a tree trying to shoot the pterodactyls the zeppelin crash landed um and as the zeppelin crash landed somebody spotted a tyrannosaurus rex that was charging across a clearing towards it um everybody scattered from the downed um airship um trying to drag out anything they could the pilot of the airship i'm looking at you liam uh the pilot of the airship ran around and managed to get to the end of the airship and had his rifle with him and was trying to take pot shots at the t-rex now the character that had dropped out and ended up in the tree had a flare gun with him so he thought it would be a good idea to shoot the flare gun and try and distract the t-rex with a flare and he did it well away from the airship because he wasn't an idiot um yeah the captain of the airship uh, was taking pot shots at the uh, at the T-Rex and rolled incredibly badly and managed to ignite the gas escaping from the airship's envelope, um, which left the T-Rex trying to backpedal away from an engulfing ball of flame and failing miserably. So all of the characters blamed the guy in the tree with the flare gun for what was very definitely the captain's fault. Uh, the captain then went away and had a quiet cigarette to kind of let things calm down. Um, it was at this point that the ape men attacked and um, everybody had to run and managed to find a raft uh, conveniently on, on the riverbank. So they jumped onto the raft and pushed off, which angered the ape men who owned the, uh, owned the raft even more than they were already angry. So they were chasing along one side of the river. So the obvious idea was to get to the other side of the river, which was when the players then realized that there were uh, hungry looking dinosaurs on the other side of the river that were also trailing them. Um, a quick look into the river, uh, let them discover the, uh, the piranha fish that were within it. Um, so the best bet was just to try and paddle for safety. And, and this worked okay until a Velociraptor managed to jump off the, uh, off the bank onto the raft. So we, we had quite a lot going on at that point. Um, eventually, though, they managed to leave both groups behind 
about the time that they heard the waterfall. Um, and some of them managed to jump off the raft and get onto the side of the river safely. Um, as we finished the session, um, somebody who had never uh, played a role-playing game before who was in the group was leading the charge for hanging onto the raft and going over the waterfall with it and rolled very, very well on his leadership role and thus managed to convince some people to stay with him. I'm actually quite pleased that we never had an opportunity to follow up on that because exactly what was going to happen to them at the bottom of the, uh, when, when they cleared the edge of the waterfall and cascaded down at the valley, I didn't feel like killing everybody, but probably should have done. But um, yeah, it was, it was one of those games that just kept going and going and going and felt really fast. And we were playing for about, I'm guessing about four hours, but it, it just felt in constant flux and there was always something happening. And I don't know that I've ever had a game with so many people standing up at the table, gesturing and yelling exuberantly and really really getting into it um without somehow it just breaking down into chaos i think it was the it was the 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 session that convinced me that hollow earth expedition or ubiquity in general was just so so versatile it, it gets out of the way when you want it to and it, it it keeps going when it doesn't so not a weird game uh, particularly not a weird system. Uh, I mean, the setting is bonkers, but not that bonkers, not bonkers enough that I'd, I'd pick it for there. But in terms of weird, yeah, I it, it was definitely an odd session. It was probably the biggest group I've ever run. Um, it was one of the fastest games I've ever run. And it was just, it was an utter, utter delight. So, uh, yeah, so that was not quite my weirdest game. I'm still not quite happy that I picked that, but it's a, it's a, it's a good illustration of a really, really great session. And I say not entirely weird, but certainly unusual. So um, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, until then, hope you have a good day. Bye.